Discord applications can now see your IP address, location, and web browser, and people are afraid that this is going to make malicious things like scam much easier and much more harmful. And me with my tinfoil hat, I'm screaming, Discord is sharing so much of my private information! <laughs> Okay, let's simmer down for a second, but usually when I look for conspiracy theories regarding Discord updates, I look at r slash Discord app. Now, other than some funny comments and someone saying that I'd make a video about paint drying, there was really just one concern. Right now, this permission is just for Gartic Phone. But what if it was for free nitro, 100% real, not a scam? Alrighty, the voices in my head are telling me to piss off with the conspiracy theories and tell you the truth. If you go on Discord and ignore the channel, this is not important at all. If you add a Discord bot, for example, you add it to your server. Oh, I need to visit a site. Guess what? Dino just got my IP. In fact, most of these Discord bots already have my IP. And it's all because I either visited their website to invite the Discord bot, or after I invite the Discord bot, it will take me to their website where they can grab my IP. Now, here is my Discord bot. It is the eGirlfriend Finder. If you add it, you get an eGirlfriend and you will never be lonely again. So I'm going to add this bot to my Discord server, not my main one, because those people are down bad in there. But when I add this Discord bot and I click continue, it's just got to send messages, nothing too crazy. It's going to redirect me to bathtub.pix, saucy. And once I verify the Discord bot, I'm ready to get my e-girlfriend. <laughs> I'm going to be lonely forever. Now, I've been pranked, but what I've actually done is I've redirected you to a Grabify link. In fact, that bathtub.pix website was Grabify, and I now have your IP, and all I need to do is refresh this page, and oh my goodness, you are in trouble, my boy. Now, before I get distracted by this gambling advertisement... <laughs> As I was saying, before I get distracted by this gambling advertisement, does having your IP actually mean anything? No. Really, people are concerned about two major things. The first thing is privacy. Now, if you're on the internet doing illegal crap, like Googling how to manufacture DMT, sharing your IP is probably not a good idea. And if you're doing some hardcore illegal stuff, you'd probably want to get a good VPN like Mulvad. And I'd use like Tor, like a normal person that does crime or illegal stuff. I don't know, whatever floats your boat. Now, in terms of privacy, if we go back to Grabify and we look at my IP and we look at more details, there's a lot of information that does scare people. Like, for example, my country is Canada, Vancouver. And this is only an estimate, and this is generally very generic and typically wrong. And like, if you want to commit harm to me, holy moly, I'm in Vancouver? That is crazy. You're going to have to nuke all of Vancouver if you just want to kill me. So that is the first concern, people figuring out where you live. But the second concern is DDoS. Now, DDoSing is basically where you just send a whole bunch of crap into your router. Your router says, eh, I can't do this, and you go offline for like 10 minutes to an hour. And usually when this happens, all you gotta do is just pull up that phone, baby, ring your internet service provider and say, hey yo, how you doing? Yeah, no, my internet no worky. Well, can you please fix it? Okay, thank you. Yeah, love you too. Okay, bye-bye. And they'll change your IP. And here's the thing, you probably don't even need to do this because in many places there's something called a dynamic IP. And a dynamic IP address will basically just change your IP address within a few days to a few months. So really, these numbers can change very easily and it doesn't really mean a whole lot. And like, even if someone has your IP, it's not a big deal at all. And trust me, I know from firsthand experience. Here's a message here, a screenshot of this dude, Heaven. This guy was part of a Discord server that I exposed that is extremely gross, and they sent a message with an IP, and it turns out that that is our dear YouTube advertiser. That's me. Damn. That's crazy, bro. What are you gonna do? Take me off the internet so I have to go outside for an hour? I would sure love that, because it is a beautiful day outside. And also, this Heaven guy is really dumb, because the provider is Packet Hub SA, and this is an IT project thing. They have virtual private servers, and those virtual private servers are what my VPN uses. If that made no sense, this IP that he got was from a VPN. So let's get back on topic. Why did Discord add this permission for applications to see your IP address, location, and web browser? Well, first, we need to understand the fundamental rules of this specific permission. It is available to activities only. And when I mean activities, I mean when you join a voice call and you click on the activities button, this permission is only for these specific activities. And there are a lot of activities. In fact, there's Crunker. This is a new one. I didn't even notice this. Now, the thing with these activities is that they are actually hosted by Discord. And this specific permission of seeing your IP address is not 
something you can just enable out of the blue. Discord has to review your activity and see if it is required. It is a privileged permission. So now we know that this permission is extremely restrictive and it's not something we have to worry about. But we still have the question, why did Discord even add this thing in the first place? It seems so worthless and useless. Well, if you're a cute little fan of mine and you watch a lot of my videos, you might have noticed that I talked about rhythm, which I spelt wrong, forgive me. <laughs> but it is a music activity. This activity 100% will need to know your IP so it can figure out what country you're in. Because here's the thing, music licenses are a big pain in the arse. Because for some weird reason, you can't listen to music, streaming music in certain countries, and it's probably a really controversial reason. And Rhythm needs to know which country you're in so that it shows you the music that you are allowed to listen to. They don't want to break any of those music licenses because uh, last time they did a little bit of license breaking, they got taken off Discord, which was really unfortunate. And you want to know the best part about this whole entire fiasco? If you go to your activities right now in Discord, you start up an activity and you go to Gartic Phone and we open it up. In the permissions here, there is no IP. It disappeared. Is Discord trying to be sneaky? No. They did not need to have this permission at all. They were just trying to be nice to you. And of course, when Discord does anything like this, people freak out. I mean, people were punching babies and starting riots because Discord changed their logo. Anyways, I have your IP. I know what city you might be living in. I'm in your balls, and I will make sure to kiss you goodnight every single night. Love you.